If you've been looking into Blazor or .NET MAUI Blazor, then you might have noticed there's not an easy built-in way to show dialogues or prompts or any kind of those things. So for at least for .NET MAUI Blazor, I'm going to show you in this video how to do just that. Now for regular Blazor, so built on WebAssembly or Blazor server, um, you have to rely on kind of like dialogues that you should pop through Bootstrap or maybe some other framework that you have inside of there, um, or you know get into that JavaScript interop and uh, pop the dialogues that come with the browser, um, which is you know fine. But for .NET MAUI, uh, we have all these kinds of goodness built in, right? So we have on the platforms, we have alerts, dialogues, we have prompts, we have action sheets, we have all that kind of stuff. Stuff, and that is also in Xamarin Forms and also in .NET MAUI. So why not leverage that and all the power that comes with that? Uh, but we have a little bit of a gap to bridge here. So that's exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. What we're going to do is basically create um, our own little dependency injection solution to leverage all the power of .NET MAUI inside of a Blazor application so that we can show all these amazing dialogues right here. So let's just hop over to Visual Studio 2022 that you can see right here. What I did is create a file new um, .NET MAUI Blazor application. So I didn't change anything yet. I can just run this thing and it will show you the Blazor template. In fact, if you don't believe me, I'm going to do this right now. You can see it on um, running on Windows. So the build started while this is running. Let me talk you through the rest. I already got a number of videos on dependency injection right now. It should pop up on your screen um, in the top right corner or it's down in the video description below. Um, and we're going to leverage that um, for what we're going to see here and show dialogues from a Blazor application. So here you can see it running on Windows. We have all the, the, the Blazor things here, the counter, click me, fetch data, home. Um, so we have all this stuff. This is just a regular template. Now, let's see if we can get those dialogues in here. So the first thing that we want to do is maybe um, add a little um, interface, right? Because dependency injection is a lot about interfaces. So let me right click on um, the project right here. You might want to add it in a folder if that's what you want. I'm going to skip over that for now. Uh, so I'm going to say new item. And in here, I'm going to look for the interface. And I'm going to name this the I dialogue service. So with this, we have a interface that is going to be used um, for you know our contract uh, to register in our dependency injection container. Um, and you know you can add a lot of methods in here for all the different dialogues and and things that you want to show. I'm just going to show you one right now, um, but it will be clear how to implement the rest yourself. So um, you can definitely do that on your own, which is a nice exercise. Um, so let me just do um, what we're going to do here is a task because it's going to be async uh, of bool, and we're going to say display confirm. So we're just going to get this confirm dialog in here that says, hey, do you want to do this? Yes or no, basically. Um, but what we want to do is get a string title. Um, and why we want to have all these parameters that will become clear in a minute. Um, string message, we want to show a message in this dialog. Um, string accept. So that's kind of like for the accept button, if you want to go through with the action that's being triggered, and a string for the cancel button. So now we have all the parameters here. Um, and we have our interface ready. Now, like I said, you can do all kinds of other methods in here that is um, suitable for your project and your needs, but I'm just going to stick with this confirm right here. Um, and of course, we want to well remove all of these unnecessary usings right here. Oh my gosh, be gone. Um, so those are gone. We don't need those. So let me also add now the implementation for this, right? So I'm going to right click on the project again, do add, and we have the class right here in our a uh, little context menu. So let me do that. And I'm going to name this the dialogue service. So this is going to implement our interface. So let me just do I dialogue service, it's going to know this one. And then I can just say with IntelliSense, implement the interface, which will help me a little bit with all the typing here. So um, this is my method signature. And um, this is where we need to implement our functionality. Now, how we're going to do that is we're going to call into .NET MAUI because like in Blazor, you don't have anything to call a dialog. That's what we are creating here. But in .NET MAUI, you can just say on a page, um, I want to show this little dialog. I want to display an alert. So let's implement that. And we can do that through return await. Um, and then we're going to have to find like the, the page of our application, right? So application dot current, we're just going to go to our current application uh, dot main page 
dot, and now we can say display alert or display action sheet or display prompt. We have all these things in here. Um, so that's what you can play with, right? So um, I'm going to do this display alert. Um, so display confirm is really not a dot and Maui thing, but you can create your own, right? That's the power that you get with this. So I'm just going to do this display alert um, and I'm going to say title message. Look, it even, it even suggests me with like the the AI here, so I can just do tab, tab, and I have all my parameters in here. And because I'm just returning like the display alert, so the display alert is kind of like a confirm built in because it returns like a true or false depending if you do the accept or the cancel. Um, so we can just do that. But if I want to do like another one, I can just copy this. Um, and you want to get all the parameters for um, display action sheet was the other one, right? Um, so you just want to check like, hey, what is display action sheet? What's all the things that I need here? Title, cancel, destruction, and a param of button. So you basically copy this method signature, put it in there, and you will pipe through all the parameters here and you can display that alert. So this is really amazing. Now we got this one. Um, also here again, let's remove all of these. Why are they here? Goodbye. So um, we just have this nice clean code now for displaying a confirm. Now let's go into our MAUI program where we have to register this, right? So um, we can actually, well, let's keep the singleton in here. We can just say builder dot services dot, and this can be a singleton, right? We just need a single instance that can do all this for us. Um, a singleton, and we can say I dialog service with the dialog service. And now it automatically knows to instantiate this dialog service whenever we request the dialog service here. Um, in fact, you can see it here for the weather forecast service. I didn't even need to create this interface if that's what you want. You can just put the concrete class in here and it will add that to your dependency injection container as well. Um, but you know, it's kind of like nice to have an interface for it whenever you want to swap it out. But if you know you're not gonna do that, just put the concrete class in here and it will work just fine. Now, whenever we want to do something here, we want to go into, I don't know, let's misuse the count button here. We had a little counter, right? So let's go to pages and we have this counter and here we already have this on click setup, right? So um, increment count and we can do the plus plus, but what we can now also do is we can inject here at the top. That's the way we can inject um, dependencies into our Blazor page. And we want to have this I dialog service which we're going to name dialog service. And now we can trust that this will in, be injected in this page. And we can now say dialog service dot display confirm. Well, the confirm in this case is a little bit weird, but anyway, let's roll with it. And what did I need to put in here? So a title, the count is now, and we can put the message count uh, well, we can just use the string interpolation here, right? So we can leverage that as well. Uh, current count, we can just put that in here. And um, is, is that okay to make the confirmer? Is that okay? Um, and then we can just specify the buttons here. So we are gonna have to say the accept, um, okay, and give me another number that might be a little bit long, but we'll see how this is going to work. And of course, you know, in this case, I don't really care about the result, What you can do result is await, and um, then we're going to get the actual result, right? And then we need to do um, async here. So this should give us everything to show the confirm. Actually, let's just run this right now. We're going to run the Windows Blazor component. And that's what's really cool, right? Because .NET MAUI will give us the dialog as it's supposed to look on iOS, Android, Windows, Mac OS. So this code runs independently of the platform. I can just switch to Android in a little bit and it will look and feel exactly like it should on um, Android. So if I now do click me, you can see it shows me this dialog. So that is how we can implement these dialogs in .NET MAUI Blazor and leverage the power of both Blazor and both .NET MAUI and bring those together to create something amazing. Now, I think this is something really that should be inside of the box that should be easier to do. So I opened a little discussion. I'll put the link down in the um, video description below. I opened a little discussion on the .NET MAUI repository if we should maybe um, make the dialogues and that kind of stuff in a service in itself. 
Uh, in .NET MAUI already, that will make it easier to use it with MVVM scenarios, that will make it user, uh, easier to use with these kinds of Blazor scenarios, um, because now it's really specific to a page, right? And from your .NET MAUI Blazor page, you don't have access to um, the page that is in .NET MAUI, if that makes sense. Um, and you have to go through all this dependency injection, locate the main page through our current application, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. Um, which is totally doable, which is very easy, but I can see a lot of people writing this repetitive code right here, which is not great, so, right? So I'm, I'm going to try and make that easier for you. Now, if you've actually liked this video, please materialize that like by clicking the like button down below. And also that helps spreading this video to more people and we can grow our little wonderful community here and all the people can learn about Don and Maui and Blazor and all the cool things that we're talking about here. So that will be amazing. Also make sure to check out if the subscribe button is lit up. Maybe it's your first time here. Here. welcome welcome and check out if that subscribe button is lit up so that this content will come to your feed automatically now how cool is that I am working on a video course for like from start to finish build a dotted Maui blazer application so be on the lookout for that you're going to see the little ingredients that I'm talking about here as well but in the meantime be sure to check out this playlist on all the things done Maui that you want to learn and check out this video right here to combine this dialogues with done Maui blazer localization See you for the next video.